Hey fans, it's me Aaron for a comic show. I'm friggin' excited. It's the Wednesday before Free Comic Book Day. We are giving away so many free comics. And uh, right before Free Comic Book Day, we got this DC Nation Zero. It says 25 cents, but we got 5,000. So we're gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Jesus, just multiplying these comics everywhere. It'll be the reading of the 5,000 in here. But we got Tom King on Joker with, uh, he wants an invitation to Batman's wedding and he didn't get one. So, you know, crazy stuff happens. It's, it's very, uh, very sick, but funny. Uh, you got Superman, ben, Brian Michael Bendis leading to Man of Steel and you got Scott Snyder on No Justice, which was really freaking crazy. I liked it. I liked the feel of what he's doing with the Justice League coming out of metal. It's great. Uh, this is our thing though, presented by A Comic Shop. We have 5,000 like this. We have an ad on the back for ourselves that um, has little coupons and whatnot if you care. But uh, it has Joker saying our logo. And this book was seriously really good. The whole purpose of this book is to get you excited so you want to read further. So I assure you these are great stories. That Joker story is phenomenal. So, you know, read on the toilet, whatever. You're not leaving my store without this. I don't care. Like, I, I don't care if I have to, like, throw it in your car door as you shut your door in the parking lot. You're leaving the store with this. For sure, it's great, and we'll be giving away free on Free Comic Day, obviously, but starting today, we'll be giving away free. Moving on, uh, Tom King on Batman. You guys know how much I love Booster Gold. Booster Gold is the biggest F up. Um, <laughs> it's, this issue is ridiculous. Last issue was ridiculous. Everything about it is ridiculous. You see this Catwoman costume that looks like someone sewed it together? It looks like the Michelle Pfeiffer costume from Batman Returns. Well, I, Booster made it. Booster sewed that costume. So that's the secret origin of that costume. It's Booster. Anyway, now you don't know if I made that up or not. It might be a spoiler. It might not be a spoiler. But last issue when Booster shows up out of nowhere is friggin' Bruce Wayne. And he's like, hi, Batman. And Skeets is like, dude, that's Bruce Wayne. You, you just can't call Bruce Wayne Batman in a room full of people. Booster can't. Okay, moving on. Uh, Batman vs. Deathstroke, the second part's here. Look at this like minimal trade dress virgin cover. Looks great. Uh, we have second prints of the previous issue. It's Deathstroke vs. Batman. Uh, the lie that changes everything. The lie that maybe Deathstroke is Damien's father. That's the whole premise of the story, not a spoiler. So obviously he's not gonna be, but he might be. And you know, like, do you want to see Deathstroke fight Batman? Because I do, and that's what it is. And finally for DC, they're just killing it this week. We have uh, Harley Quinn, Harley Loves Joker, two different covers, one uh, the minimal trade dress with Frank Cho, and the coolest thing about this is Paul Dini's writing it. It's a two-part miniseries, Paul Dini, uh, Brett Levin's on art, so very fluid, kind of cartoony, really works, but if you're a fan of Harley Quinn, um, you know who Paul Dini is, that's her creator, so you will want this, and I assure you it's good. Moving on to Marvel. The biggest deal for Marvel this week, Avengers number one. Here it is, super freaking thick. It's a $5 book, but it has extra pages. Here at a comic shop, we're only charging $3 for it because we want you to get it and try it, but um, you know we can't affect prices on other stores. That's called price fixing and collusion, and it's actually illegal. But um, our store will sell it for three bucks, and it's Jason Aaron, Ed McGinnis, Yes, it's a new number one, but I assure you this is coming straight out of Legacy. Like straight out of that Legacy one shot that Jason Aaron did. And it even has Legacy numbering because enough people complain. It says LGY number 691. So yes, there'll be a 700 where it'll flip and it'll be 700 really big. And then the whatever number it is, uh, 10 <laughs> will be nine. I don't know. I, I'm not going to do math on a video, but anyway. This book was great. Doctor Strange was cool. Black Panther's cool. Um, Thor. Basically, Captain America needs to get the gang back together. Thor, Cap, and Iron Man Tony get together, have a few beers, decide, hey, we need to form the Avengers to fight these big, big craziness things. And um, it's what people want. And we're going to put together an A-list team, and let's go. So I really enjoyed it. It definitely feels similar, more similar to the cinematic universe in tone, which is a good thing, but I assure you it's in Marvel continuity and there's a reason for Ghost Rider to be there. Like, you know, I hate it when someone reads something and says like, oh, I love this, it was so good, it was great, and then someone else is on the internet like, hey, Ghost Rider, meh, meh, it's bullshit, Ghost Rider on you, meh. You know, uh, 
piss off. You know, let people enjoy stuff. You know, read it and and then then judge it. Or don't read it and don't judge it. But don't don't read it and judge it, especially if you're pissing on someone else's happiness. Moving on, Hunt for Wolverine, Weapon Loss. This is the first mini series. This is the uh, noir one. It's also written by Charles Soule, who nailed it in that one shot, Hunt for Wolverine, last week. And it has some surprise guest stars that I enjoyed seeing that I haven't seen in forever that I'm not going to spoil. Uh, you are Deadpool number one. This book was insane. It's a choose your own adventure. You're reading it, and each panel is numbered. And you get to a panel that says, hey, if you want to Deadpool to see a flashback, go to panel 72. If you want to Deadpool to go Eat a chimichanga, go to panel 36. So you can read this over and over and over again and get different reads, different stories out of the same book. It's awesome. If you read these Choose Your Own Adventures when you were a kid like I did, you know, check it out for library, read G.I. Joe, stuff like that. It was cool. Try this. It works for Deadpool. Deadpool is pretty elastic of a character. You can do absurd things, but that was fun. Uh, and Star Wars Tag and Bink were here. Always love Tag and Bink. I'm glad that um, Marvel got this back in print. And it's basically, these two guys are like the Bill and Ted, Jay and Silent Bob, whatever, two dudes that everything that was weird or hokey or BS about the movies, and I love the Star Wars movies, uh, maybe not the prequels so much. Okay, so one spoiler example, when Anakin's talking like, my love for you burns like a thousand exploding suns and stars and stuff, they're behind the curtain like feeding him the bad lines. The bad dialogue, that's them, you know? Death Star, that's them, you know, why it blew up. Yes, I know Rogue One exists now, but this was a funny story that is full, chock full of hilarity, Boba Fett's in it, it's awesome. Moving on to Indy, Death or Glory, Exercise first issue by Rick Remender. I was, I, I love Rick Remender, he's, he's my guy. Like, it's like he's writing to me, uh, it's like, Beavis and Butthead grew up, actually like took writing courses, found their voice, and now are writing very compelling stories that still have uh, butt-looking jokes in it. You know, like, eh, why not? You know, I, I, like, I like a good, crude, immature joke. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a dude, whatever. You know, I'm 40. I gotta, I gotta feel alive somehow. But this story is a young woman off the grid, raised off the grid, on a convoy that needs money, to get the person who raised her uh, a new kidney or liver, I, f I forget which one it was, that's not the point. The point is, she has to do heists, there's crazy stuff, it's super fast paced, it's a non-stop heist comic, and there are references to butthole licking. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Carl looks weird, this, uh, this issue was weird, and next issue is the finale of this story arc, and I am very afraid that shit's gonna hit the fan because everything's been a little bit um, percolating on the surface so far. Interesting, but no, like, boom. And I'm, I'm afraid next issue is gonna be that powder keg exploding. Moving on, Coda, Simon Spurrier. This book was great. If you like weird fantasy, this guy does all kinds of weird stuff for Image and for other boom stuff, you know, like you know Cy Spurrier, he's done stuff for Avatar Press. He's kind of like Kieran Gillen in, in tone, but um, this book was very, it's like one of those art-driven books that actually has a really, really good story. So, you know, flip through it. If it does anything for you, get it. I'll be offering a money-back guarantee in my store on it because it is kind of weird. So, you know, take a chance on it. And then finally, Gogo -Go Power Rangers, Shattered Grid, number nine, this has been on fire. Everything Power Rangers Shadow Grid has been on fire. That is a master class in how to do a big crossover. Boom is killing it. And free comic book day this Saturday from 9 to 11 here in a comic shop right next door on the Geek Easy from 9 till whenever we wrap that part up. We're going to have blowout massive sales over here. Free comic books, buy two, get one free on everything. That's the minimum sale. And we're going to have all kinds of shenanigans in the Geek Easy. We're going to have uh, cosplay debaters, like improv cosplayers. That's gonna be great. We're gonna have them at uh, noon and five. And we're gonna have other cosplayers throughout the day. And then at night, we're gonna have the Geek Cheesy Dance uh, starting at eight. So get your dance on and get free comics and get crazy deals and just celebrate comics this Saturday. Thanks guys, bye-bye.